Hello, dear and beloved science students. It's your favorite sixth grade science teacher, Mr. Heckenlively, coming to you on Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Okay, so you may notice I've got a haircut. Yes, I've cut my own hair. How did I do? Uh, my wife wasn't horrified by it yesterday. I'm wondering if all of you are having to deal with things like that such as my hair is so long, it's annoying the heck out of me. So hopefully not too bad, not too bad. I'm going to cut myself a little bit on that side, but you know, that's what happens. Okay. We're all making the best of it. Okay. So we are now at the official start of new learning. So last week, what I had done was I had given you the sixth grade science review number three. And now we're going to go over the answers. So question one, how does altitude affect climate? The higher the altitude, the colder the climate. Number two, how does latitude affect climate? The farther the latitude is away from the equator, the sun's rays do not strike the earth as directly, providing less heat and creating a colder climate. Three, how do large bodies of water affect climate? Large bodies of water will tend to moderate the climate of a region, meaning it will be less cold, but also less hot, and the temperature variations will not be as extreme. Four, how do ocean currents affect climate? Depending on whether it is a cold current or a warm current, the current will either cause the temperature to be warmer or colder than it would be normally. Five, what three countries emit the largest amount of carbon dioxide? That would be China, India, and the United States. Six, why does it rain more at night than during the day? Because it is colder at night, that tends to push the water molecules closer together because they have less thermal energy and they condense into rain droplets. Seven, what three things affect currents? That would be wind and differences in density due to temperature and salinity. Okay, so ten temperature and salinity are both their own categories, okay? Um, what drives surface currents? Wind. What causes deep currents? Differences in density due to temperature and salinity. What is El Nino? El Nino is a warm water current. Uh, 11, what is La Nina? It is a cold water current. 12, how is asexual reproduction, like a Star Wars storm or clone trooper, depending upon which movie you're watching, uh, the answer is they're both clones or identical genetic copies of their parent. Uh, 13. How does sexual reproduction prevent a species from being wiped out? Uh, genetic diversity in a population, which happens because the genes of the mother and father are mixed, provides protection when conditions change. If some are more resistant to cold and the winter is very cold, then those individuals will be more likely to survive. 14, what is heredity? It's the study of how genes are passed from one generation to another. 15, what is a Punnett square? That's a way to determine the probability of a gene being passed on from one generation to another. 16, what is a dominant gene? That's a gene whose trait will be expressed if it is present. Uh, what we had talked about is, for example, the tall gene, okay? So we would, um, uh, write that as a capital T. Uh, we would write being short as a lowercase t. So if somebody had a capital T and a small t in their genes, uh, they would be tall. Okay. Uh, 17. What is an allele? It's a copy of a gene which will need to be paired with another gene. 18. What is a recessive gene? a gene whose trait will be expressed only if there are two copies of the gene present. 19, what is homeostasis? That is the tendency of an organism to maintain internal and external conditions in a state of balance. For example, when you shiver, that's because your body is trying to warm itself, or when you're very hot, you will sweat because that's trying to cool your body down. And last question, Write a simple hypothesis in an if-then format. Maybe something like, if I do all my work for Mr. Heckin Lively, then one day I will become a brilliant Nobel Prize winning scientist. Yeah, we'll test that one, okay? That'll take about 
40 years for you to test. But hey, we got the time. All right, so that is the um, uh, answer key for the sixth grade science review number three. I will put this in the locker and on Google Classroom so you can study it uh, more closely if you need to. Uh, I'd also like you to send me your score as you did before. That was great. So many of you are doing it. It's wonderful. Uh, remember, you are supposed to be doing the work. Make sure that you send me your score or else I will track you down. Okay, so for today, our assignment is called Dangerously Bold, okay? So this is really fun because it looks at the question of these, um, uh, this type of fish. It is the bluegill sunfish. And something you may not think about is you understand that individuals who are human have different personalities. Some are more outgoing, some are more introspective. Well, we find that same pattern in animals. So some are more bold than others. Others are more shy uh, than their peers. And so we have an interesting question of what happens to the bold members of the species and what happens to the shy members of a species. And there's a really interesting trade-off when you go through the data. And, and I just, I'd like you to have that question in your mind saying like, okay, what's, what's the benefit of being bold? What's the drawback of being bold? What's the benefit of being shy? And what's the drawback to being shy? So we'll talk about that in our uh, next video. Uh, what I like to do is I'm planning uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to have a video like this uh, that I'd like you to watch. And um, one of the things that I'm trying to figure out is this idea of office hours. It's kind of strange because usually at school, what I do is I'm just there and I, I tell people, you know, hey, come see me, you know, if you have any questions. Um, but in the lockdown, we can't do that. So what I'm planning to do is have kind of office hours, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from nine to 9.30. And what that means is I will have my school loop uh, email up so if you email me during that time, I will just, you know, email you right back. So I'm planning to do that this morning. So if you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email right at that time and I'll get right back to you. Okay. Hope this has been helpful for you. Hope you guys are doing well and keeping yourself safe. And I look forward to talking to you um, uh, next time. All right.